Hi folks, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install the Ether Mod by King B Dogs, Shaka, Kodiachi, Flan, and 303. It's a collaborative project. This has been in the works for four or five months. It just came out yesterday, which was July 22nd, 2011. And it is essentially a brand new realm, a sky realm, a celestial realm. And it adds many new features. Not only new blocks to the game, but new monsters, creatures. It adds three levels of dungeons, flyable, mountable creatures like flying pigs, cool accessory system that you can um, add new magic items to your character, and you can craft new stuff as well. This particular video, I will show you how to install it. I will do a follow-up video, and then we'll actually look at the mod, and we'll take it for a test drive. So without further ado, let's get started with the installation. Okay, before we get started with the installation, let me just say a few things. Number one, you should back up your Minecraft. I will put a link to this video. I've already done a tutorial on how to back up Minecraft. I'll put a link in the description. Click on the link and, and follow along if you want to back it up. If you don't, then you take all the risk. Don't come crying to me if something breaks. You will also need 7-Zip or WinRAR. Grab that and then come back. Okay, back to the ether. Let's get this puppy installed. Okay, the first thing you want to do is scroll on down here. There are three additional mods that we need to get before the ether will work. That's Mod Loader, Audio Mod, and Shock AHPI. So just come over here, click on each one of these individually, and download them. I'm not going to go through that process right now. It's a couple of minutes. I've already done it. I have the four uh, files you already need. Oh, and this one as well, ether mod. So download this, that, that, and that, and then we'll get started. And feel free to click on donate. These guys have put a lot of their blood, sweat, and tears into this mod. And um, let's support them, because if we don't, they'll stop, and we won't have this fun anymore. This is good, free stuff. A couple of bucks here and there ain't going to kill you. All right, let's do that. And uh, go ahead and download those and come back. Meet you here. Okay, great. Moving on. Here we go. I've got all four mods downloaded. And you want to do this in order. Mod loader first, audio mod, shock, and ether. Now, before we do that, though, we want a nice, fresh copy of Minecraft. So go ahead and run Minecraft. If you have any mods installed in Minecraft, this is going to blow them away. We've got a nice, fresh and clean version. So go ahead and click Options on the launcher, click Force Update, Done, Login, and it will download the latest and greatest version, which is 1.7.3, no mods installed, ready to roll, and now we can close that down and start installing our mods. All right, now we need to open up our Minecraft.jar file, and in order to get over there, you need to click on the Start button. Go to your little search bar here and type in percent sign a p p d a t a percent. So it's percent a app data percent and then hit enter. And that'll open up another window. Let me just put that there so we can all see. And right up at the very top, you should see uh, dot Minecraft. That's a Minecraft folder. Open her up. Bin folder is what we're after. So go ahead and double click on that. And this is the file we want. Minecraft. Dot jar. Yours may only say Minecraft, it depends on how your computer is set up, but um, there should only be one. You want to right click on that and use 7-zip or WinRAR and go to Open Archive. Whoa, come back down here, you. Now we want to go back to our Downloads folder and we're going to go to Mod Loader, right click, 7-zip, Open Archive. Hey, my windows are a little wonky today. All right, so we want these windows side by side. Minecraft jar on the right, mod loader on the left. I'm going to select these, all these files here by edit, select all, and we're going to drag and drop them right over here. Drop them into white space. You will get a confirmation. Click yes. Close that down. We'll do the same with audio mod. Edit, select all, drag and drop, click yes. Goodbye. Shock AHPI is a little bit different. Let's open that up. What you want to do is open up the bin folder. Ignore SRC and README. Open up bin. We want everybody in here. Come on, folks. Drag and drop. All right, that's done. And then the Ether mod. Right click, 7 zip, open archive. 
Now this one's also a little bit tricky. We want to open up the folder called jar. Go to select all, everything in here, drag and drop. Click yes if you're prompted. Okay, that's done. Now we want to close down Minecraft jar. We're done with that. However, there's one last critical step. This folder right here needs to be blown away, creeper style. Meta INF, get rid of it, delete it. Goodbye. Close down Minecraft.jar, we're done with it. Let's slide this guy over here because we ain't done with you. All right, let's go back to our Minecraft folder, which is the Minecraft bin folder. And we want to go back up a level here and go to the resources folder. Actually, we want to go up to one more on this side as well. So you want to get to the dot Minecraft folder. And you see this folder right here, resources? Open that up. Back to our zip file. And we have a folder right here called resources. What you want to do is open up the resources file and you'll see this right here, mod. Drag and drop that right out of 7-zip, dump it in your resources folder under the Minecraft folder. So it's dot Minecraft resources. So you should see something like this, music, new music, new sound, etc. And then mod. Okay, now that everything appears to be installed properly, at least as far as we know, let's run Minecraft and verify. So go ahead and log in. That's a good sign. Good sign so far. Click on single player. I have a world already. Play new world. We see the pro tip down there at the bottom. That's something new and I'm in. Unfortunately, to get to the ether, I need a portal. <laughs> and I haven't gotten that far yet. You need glowstone and a bucket of water. Um, and then you can portal right to it. However, I don't have that capability right now. So what I'll do is I will continue this tutorial. A, uh, the second part will be a tour of the actual ether. And we'll take a look at some of the cool new stuff. But uh, there you have it. That's how to install it. And um, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, if it helps you, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I appreciate it. Every bit of support helps. And again, support the mod makers so that they continue making cool stuff like this. All right. Hey, folks, have a good day. Thanks for watching.